Rees Mogg was forced to apologize for using what a Labour MP called an extremely offensive racist term. Jacob Rees Mogg has been forced to apologize after being accused of using an extremely offensive racist term in the House of Commons. The Commons leader used the phrase yellow peril in response to a question from an MP. The term is considered a racist and derogatory metaphor for a perceived threat from East Asian people to the West. Rees Mogg said he did not know that what he had said that was racist and added his use of the term was out of ignorance. Tory MP Damien Moore had said people in his constituency felt under attack from the vindictive policies of Labour controlled Sefton Council for trying to impose a cycle network. In reply, Rees Mogg said, I hear gossip that Moore is actually working in collaboration, and whisper it quietly, with the Liberal Democrats in his area against these schemes, which I think shows how completely lunatic they must be to have created an alliance between him and the Yellow Peril. Shadow Commons leader Thongam Debonair called on him to apologize. Raising a point of order, the Labour MP said, Unfortunately, and I hope that the leader is doing this unintentionally, the leader made use of an extremely offensive racist term. I find it really difficult to understand but I am sure it may be possible that he was not aware that it was, in relation to the Liberal Democrats. It would be really helpful if the leader could reconsider his words. He has spoken powerfully and correctly over the last few months about the scourge of racism and his commitment to ending it. She added, This use of casual racist phrases, however unintentional, does have an impact. It has a corrosive impact on the fight against racism which I know he shares as an aim. Rees Mogg replied, If I have used a term that is offensive I apologize profoundly. I had absolutely no intention of using a term that was offensive. I don't actually know what term I used that was offensive, so if out of ignorance I have, I apologize. The Prime Minister argued self-isolation is one of the few shots we have got left in our locker, as he scrapped most remaining legal restrictions in England on so-called Freedom Day on Monday. He suggested an exemption would cover some in hospitals and care homes, or working in the supply of food, electricity and medicines, and transport, defense and borders. But the government has said there is no blanket exemption for any sector or role, and decisions will be made largely on a case by case basis. Downing Street has declined to say how many people will be granted exemptions, but it is understood the figure is not expected to reach the high tens of thousands.